Hi guys, welcome back to Gentleman's Corner. My name is David. <clears throat> Today I have a splendid Saturday for you, which is posting a little bit late, uh, just because of some extenuating circumstances I will get into in just a minute. Uh, it is a little bit bright out here, so forgive me if I'm squinting or anything. <clears throat> um, I really don't have a way to change the direction, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, you may have noticed I have been absent for a little bit, and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you will know why. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I uh, last week, today, so it's been exactly seven days, uh, I came down with a dose of double pink eye, and uh, it, it was absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, I was waking up in the morning, and my eyes were glued shut, and uh, I, I couldn't see very well, uh, but I was still going to work. Uh, it was bacterial in nature, and so because I was on antibiotics, I was not contagious. So I was able to go to work, um, which as a lawyer is a thing that you need to be able to do. So I, uh, so I had that. Um, if you don't know, before that I had a fever uh, last Wednesday, and that was an absolute train wreck. And then... Shortly as the pink eye was starting to get better, my allergies suddenly flared up. We have Texas mountain cedar moving in, and uh, it, it is just wreaking havoc. So for the last two days, I've not had a voice. Um, so anyway, getting past all that, um, today is a splendid Saturday because I have a new tobacco. And it is fourth generation, 1982. This is a tin that I recently just bought from my local shop um, for, they, they had a Christmas sale going on, and so I decided to pick this up. Uh, this is the next review that's going to be on the channel, and uh, I thought I might open it up today, and if it's smokable, maybe give you some first impressions. Uh, for those of you who don't know about 1982, uh, 1982 Centennial Blend celebrates our family's 100-year anniversary in the tobacco business. Uh, the 1982 is a slow-burning mixture comprised of Golden Virginia, Sweet and Soft Mild Black Cavendish, and Light Burleys blended with small plugs of Navy Flake. And then what really got me into, uh, into this particular blend... French vanilla and blackberry top dressing is also added as a final step. So, you know, for those of you who watch my channel, you know me. I'm a huge aromatic nut. Um, and when I saw blackberry, I was like, okay, uh, I, can, I can get behind this. So, let me see if I can open it up here. And I may have to get a screwdriver or something, breach the vacuum. Let's see if I got my knife on me my one complaint with these uh, European style tins is uh, having to break the vacuum on them in order to be able to open them. Let's see. There it goes. Heard a little and that's how I know it's open. Alright. Unscrew that. Start right there for the moment. Ooh, nice and compressed. You can't see any of this because uh, I have it pointing towards me, but it is nice and compressed. The, it's unfortunate the wrapper kind of got all smushed in there, but it's all right. Let's see if we can't tease that out. Okay. So we have the nice fourth generation. This is by, uh, for those of you who don't know, fourth generation. This is made by Eric Stokeby. So let's... Uh, Let's remove this little topper here. Scrape off that backy. Come on. Come on, get off in there. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a little whiff here. Ooh. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Ooh, that smells delicious. Mm. Okay. I'm not going to say anything about this because I am saving it for the review. <clears throat> However, I think, yeah, I could probably get a bowl out of this. Let me, got my little corn cob here. This is what I use when I am tasting new blends. Uh, my first bowl is always in a corn cob 
just in case I don't like the blend. Uh, in which case, I don't have to worry about it ghosting my pipe. Now I'm going to do kind of a light pack on this, because this is a very nice ribbon cut um, tobacco, but the center is just a little bit moist, and uh, I don't want to... compress it too much and risk not it having it be smokable so mm. okay so we're gonna seal this away for just a little while I had just in case this wasn't smokable I had my can or my uh, jar of lane limited 1q just in case thank goodness I don't need it because I've been looking forward to this blend for weeks Okay, let's uh, light her up here. I'm using my Zippo pipe lighter because it is a little bit windy outside. Come on. There it is. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep smoking this uh, as I talk and continue to uh, monitor the situation. I have not made any decisions yet, and I won't for a while. <coughs> so last night, uh, like I said, I had allergies, and uh, last night was my first pipe in over a week. And man, that was just magical moment. Magical moment when you first take that first puff of that pipe. And uh, absolutely great. I was having a bowl of uh, Cornell and Deal's Jolly Old St. Nicholas, which uh, I reviewed last week on the channel. Or I guess it would have been two weeks ago on the channel. Um, and uh, for those of you who have not had the, the new Cornell and Deal's Jolly Old St. Nick, great little Christmas blend. Um, not super heavy on the aromatic flavors, but very pleasant nonetheless. Very mild. And my pipe has gone out. This is what I was afraid of with packing it a little tight. Um, before we go any further, I do need to run upstairs and just grab something really quickly that pertains to a question I am asking later on today. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> back and relit. So, um, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, first pipe, Cornell and Deal, all that good stuff. So, that brings us to today. Today is the day before Christmas Eve, or Christmas Eve Eve, and uh, I don't know what your all's plans are. Leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear how you're celebrating. But uh, a, another YouTuber, uh, Mike over at the Briar Blues, asked an interesting question um, the other day, and it got me thinking. And uh, the question was generally kind of, what are your, some of your Christmas traditions, and specifically related to pipe smoking? Um, if there were any traditions. And I had said, to me, <coughs> related to a pipe, um, the idea of aromatics with, like, warm honey and vanilla notes and things like that. That, to me, just says Christmas. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickle at the back of my throat. Not from this. So. It just kind of got me thinking about, you know, Christmas and smoking and special blends, special pipes. And that brings me to my question for this video. To smoke or not to smoke? For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you will remember one of the very first videos I posted, I think it was like the 6th or 7th video, was related to this. This guy, for those of you who don't know or are new to my channel, is a pipe that I won in an eBay auction. My wife does not know about it because she specifically told me not to buy it. Um, 
because the price got a little bit high. But I won it, and I refuse to give up on it. This is a... There's a whole video on this pipe, so I, I guess I won't waste time explaining it to you. I'll link it down in the bio below uh, in the comments set or in the, uh, in the description box. This is a pipe that I won on eBay, and it is for the most important purposes of this video, an unsmoked Group 1 Dunhill Shell Briar from 1960. And this is completely untouched. And what's so great about it is it is in pretty much pristine condition. Um, I say it's unsmoked. That There has been some debate as to whether it was smoked maybe once. Um, and the, the reason for that debate is it looks to appear that there might be a couple of teeth marks up on the stem, but I don't really know if that's a tooth mark or if it's just kind of some pitting on the, um, on the vulcanite. Anyway, this is a group one, which is a fairly small pipe. Um, to put it in perspective, it's about the same size as the pipe that I am currently smoking, which is the Missouri Meerschaum Pony. So I think that's what this one is. For those of you who are corn cob people, tell me what this is, because I don't know. Anyway. So this pipe is... <clears throat> originally I had bought it thinking it was a 1970 or 80, something like that. And then I started looking onto the actual stamping when I got it in. <coughs> and um, what was so exciting is that the markings indicate it's actually from 1960. Now this pipe came with the original pipe. Everything is pristine on it. The box, the pipe sock, even the instruction and care booklet that had... Um, little uh, ads for Dunhill tobaccos back when they were, you know, back in the 60s, things like that. And it got me thinking, should I smoke this pipe? Should I smoke it? Interesting question. Let's, uh, let's delve into that just a little bit. I have been tweeting with Phil from the Briar Report. And, uh, I've opened up a poll on my Twitter account. You can find the link to it in the description box below this video. Um, and the poll is essentially, do I smoke it or do I keep it pristine? The reason that I bought this pipe was because it was unsmoked, uh, or at least near unsmoked. <clears throat> and, and I'm going to throw some kind of nomenclature about that, which is because I cannot be 100% certain. The reason I bought it was because it was in such pristine condition. <clears throat> it came with all the effects and everything. That's why I bought it. But I also realized that pipes, <clears throat> by and large, are made to be smoked. And so a thought arises that, what is the point of owning this pipe if I don't smoke it, right? So <clears throat> what I have decided is that I'm going to leave it up to y'all, the viewers, and my followers on Twitter and Instagram. I have opened up a poll. This poll will remain open for the next six days. I started it last night, for those of you who saw it. Everybody gets one vote. Do I smoke it or do I keep it pristine? Whatever the outcome is, whatever it is, smoke it or not, I will reveal on the next Saturday Smoke. And if it is smoking, I will smoke it for its very first smoke on Splendid Saturday next week. Does that sound okay? Does that sound all right to everybody? And I really have, uh, I really hope that it's not smoking it because that means I have to decide what I'm going to smoke in it for its first go. Uh, I'm primarily an aromatic smoker. So it will be an aromatic, um, just so everybody's clear on that. Um, and it's just deciding which one I want to use to break it in. 
So let me know. Either vote in the Twitter poll <coughs> or leave a comment in the comment section below, either saying smoke it or don't smoke it. I will tally up the results uh, prior to next week's video. Like I said, I will film it um, and I will do an entire video on it uh, depending on what people choose. Right now the leader is smoke it, so I'm probably going to have to start thinking about picking a tobacco. So, that being said, <coughs> let's, uh, let's check in on this guy. So far, the burn is uh, a little hot. And that could just be me. And I'm not going to say anything else about it. <coughs> but overall, I mean, it's burning well. Um, it's a little hot. This particular little cl clump may have been a little dry. So, but I will continue to smoke this and uh, use it for next week's review on the channel. I will be posting probably either this upcoming Saturday or the following Wednesday. Uh, and the reason being, uh, I'm now doing it where I'm filming all of my videos Saturday. And then I'm uploading them as I complete them. Um, because I just don't have time during the week anymore. As short as the days are right now during the winter, I don't have the time when I get home. I don't have the daylight to be able to film out here. <clears throat> and that light that's up there is uh, not doing jack shit for me. So that being said, I think we have come to the conclusion of this week's video. Uh, again, on the Dunhill, vote smoke or no smoke, uh, either in the comment section or by leaving a vote on Twitter. And I will continue to monitor that situation. And uh, by about Thursday or Friday, however it's looking, that's probably going to be the option I'm going with. So we will see. But other than that, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you, <coughs> if you have, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. Other than that, guys, my name is David. If you'd like to follow my other accounts, I have my Instagram and Twitter in the description box below. I hope you're having a splendid Saturday wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And other than that, have a good one.